Hello, and welcome to the Big Podcast Equipment Guide. This is a small series of videos where I will explain what devices you will need to record a podcast if you want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or up to 10 participants, including up to 4 remote guests over the phone, or Skype, or Zoom. I will also explain how to set up phone interviews on various devices using the much feared Mix Minus. Let's get on with it. There's a huge and growing array of equipment you can use for podcasting. Whichever you choose to use, the biggest headache for beginner podcasters is normally around how to set up remote guests for a phone interview or a Skype or Zoom interview. Quite confusing, maybe downright intimidating. Let me help you. Disclaimer, my primary goal with this video series is to save you from digging into user manuals, reading countless blog posts, forums, and watching endless hours of YouTube videos trying to figure out which equipment is best suited for what. I don't actually have owned or have used all of these devices, but I have been reading all the user manuals, watched most of the useful YouTube tutorials about them, and digged into forums as well as checked their prices to find out which one is best suited for which podcasting scenario in terms of number of persons participating. It is however still possible that here and there I could be mistaken, so I encourage you to do your homework as well. I will however definitely help you narrow down the list of device choices quite a bit. With that disclaimer out of the way, Let's get into it. What I'm about to explain in this video is how to set up Mixminus for interviewing someone over the phone or Skype on the Focusrite Scarlett 4i4. But not only that, we'll also compare it to its bigger brother, the 8i6. Before I do that, however, let's quickly remind ourselves on what is a Mixminus. To record a remote interview for your podcast, the single most important term that you'll need to familiarize yourself with is mix minus. As a quick reminder on what is a mix minus, when recording a phone interview, you are not actually speaking into your phone, but into a microphone. To lead all the voices into your recording device, you will need to combine your voice and your guest's voice, so you will apply a mixer, which is integrated into many recording devices nowadays, so you won't necessarily see a mixing board. But for the sake of understanding the mix minus, let's showcase it with a mixing board. Your voice goes into the mixer. The voice of your guest from the phone also goes into the mixer. What a mixer does is that it combines everything that goes into it and creates a single stereo track of them so that you can record and also monitor everything. However, your guest at the moment hears nothing, as again, you are not talking into the phone but into the mic. So you need to route your voice back into the phone for the guest to hear you. The problem is that by default the mixer sends out, well, a mix of all the voices, which also includes the guest's voice, which in return creates an annoying feedback echoing into the guest's ears while talking. So you'll need to remove their voice from the mix that is sent back to them. In other words, what they will receive is the full mix minus their own voice. And that is mix minus. The Focusrite Scarlett 4i4's most obvious difference to the 2i2 is, as its name suggests, that it has four inputs and four outputs. However, only two of the four inputs are XLR microphone inputs and the additional two inputs are line level inputs located on the back of the device. The other major difference is that you can, to a certain extent, control what is routed to its outputs. For a podcasting setup, what you are interested in is how many microphones you can plug in, that's two, and how many mix minuses you can set up for remote guests. Unfortunately, also only two, as even though it does have four line outputs, two of its outputs, line outputs three and four, are also mirrored to the headphone port. In other words, whatever you put through there, it will be in your ears as well. Now, this is not exactly what you want, as you want to hear your guests, whereas your guests does not want to hear themselves. Consequently, only the remaining two of the four outputs are left for you to set up mix minus for your remote guests. Let's take a look at how to set it up. You'll have your microphone, your phone, and the old friend from the analog mixer's mix minus setup, the iRig 2 adapter. You'll connect the microphone into input 1 on the Focusrite 4i4, and that's where your voice goes in. Then, connect the phone to the iRig 2, and through that, using its amplifier output mono TS jack, connect it to input 2 on the audio interface using a quarter inch or 6.3mm mono TS audio cable. This way, your guest's voice, or actually whatever sound comes out from the phone, 
is routed into the interface and you can record it. Make sure that you have switched the through slash FX switch on the side of the iRig2 to FX. This way the TS-1 amplifier output will carry the same signal as the headphone port would, only in mono. See my iRig2 video for further details. Now you can record your guest. But you need your guest to hear you as well, so you'll need to route your voice back into the phone. As you are not talking into the phone, your voice actually goes through your microphone into the audio interface, so it also needs to come out from there somehow. So what you'll do is you take one of the outputs on the back of the device that can be freely configured, marked with blue dots, and from there route it back to the iRig 2's guitar label port. Now whatever goes into the interface will also come out from there and into the phone. That's why I am showing you both the red and the green lines going out. It indicates that you're not quite ready though, as for now both your voice and also your guest's voice is routed back into the phone. So you'll need to remove your guest's voice from the mix that goes back to them. Your guest's voice went into the interface through input 2, the green line. This is what you need to remove from what goes back into the phone. And this is where the Focusrite Control app comes in handy. Here you'll need to click on the Outputs tab, where the outputs of the interface are displayed. If you look at line outputs 3 and 4, you'll notice that there's a headphone icon. This indicates that whatever you mix to those outputs will be mirrored into your headphones as well. And that's why you can't use them for creating mixes where some voices are excluded from, as you want to hear everyone. You have plugged the iRig 2 into line output 1, so you'll select monitor outputs 1, 2. Since the iRig 2's input is a mono input, we'll need a mono output from the Focusrite 2. So click on where it says stereo. What it does is that it'll switch it to mono, and then you can configure both outputs 1 and 2 individually. Since the iRig 2 gets the signals from output number 1, this is where you want to route back the mix minus from into the iRig 2. Make sure that you have set monitor output 1 to custom mix. This way you can actually select and configure what comes out from this output. As your guest voice is on input 2, you'll need to locate that input, marked with analog 2 in the app, and mute it. With this, you have removed your guest voice from what goes back to them. And that's it. I know it's not a full user guide, but you get the idea. If an input is God forbid missing from the right side, you can always add it by hitting the plus bar on the right. If you decide to call one more remote guest over a phone, that will be possible. You just need another iRig 2, another phone, and you'll do exactly the same setup, only this time your second guest will not be plugged into the front of the 4i4, but to the back, into one of the line inputs. Unfortunately, even if you could plug in a third remote guest, you would not be able to set up a mix minus for them, as you can only use two of the four outputs for such purpose. But for up to two present and two remote guests, it can work beautifully. Before we finish off, however, let me quickly compare the Focusrite Scarlett 4i4 to the 8i6. And the reason why I'm doing that is that there's mere 40 50 euros price difference between the two devices, and for this amount, you'll get to extend the capabilities at hand to an extent where for practically the same price as the Zoom Portrack P4, which is a fantastic podcasting device, you'll get to invite not two, but three remote guests, and the Portrack P4 is not able to do that. There are obvious differences between the two devices, first in terms of headphone ports. The 8i6 has two of them, which is really convenient, as if you would invite a co-host to be present with you, thus occupying both XRR inputs, you won't have to use a splitter or separate headphone amplifier, but you can right off the bat have the headphone output for both of you. Also, the 8i6 has two more line inputs than the 4i4, which I am, as a podcaster, not really interested in, unless I'd want to plug in an instrument or an effects board or, for some reason, anything else. An SPDIF input, uh, if someone is interested in that, maybe for video production more, and an on-off switch which is on one hand really welcomed. I like devices that can be switched off and left on the desk plugged in. On the other hand, it also means that the 8i6 is not any more bus powered, which may be a downside for some. And there are the similarities most interesting for podcasters. They both have two XLR inputs and four physical line outputs. On both devices, you have the software loopback feature, 
which along with the custom mix function enables you to create USB mix minus for Skype or Zoom calls from your computer. Focusrite themselves have a very comprehensive instruction video about it, which you can find on the link above. However, and this is the big limitation for the 4i4, the maximum number of custom mixes you can create on the 4i4 is 3. And one of them is your own headphone mix, which goes to yourself and maybe to another person who is present with you. The two of you are then plugged into the two XLR ports, and you will get the same headphone mix with zero latency. You can then either call two remote guests on the phone using the described method of the iRig 2 based mix minus. These iRig 2s will be plugged into the line inputs on the back and will receive the mix minus from outputs 1 and 2. Or you can have one guest over the phone, again plugged into the line inputs on the back, receiving the mix minus from one of the line outputs. And in addition, you can create a USB mix minus for something like a Skype call. You don't even need a physical output for it. You can do all that with the three custom mixes. In case you do a USB mix minus and one phone into you, then you still have one free input and output left on the bag. So you may think that you could even call a second remote guest using the iRing 2 method. However, then you would need to set up four custom mixes. One for whoever is present and three for the remote guests. But since you can only create three custom mixes, one of which is your own headphone mix, one of the three remote guests cannot be set up with a proper mix minus. So the max number of remote guests is two. With the 8i6, however, even if it has the same amount of physical outputs, you can create up to four custom mixes in Focusrite control. And there you go. You have your mix minus for the third remote guest, should you need it. So in terms of podcast participants, they both can accommodate two people present, but while on the 4i4 you can set up mix minus for two remote guests, on the 8i6 you can have as many as three remote guests, one of them through a software loopback. As mentioned before, there is a 40 euro price difference between the two. If the addition of the third remote guest is important to you, and you don't mind fiddling in with the Focusrite controls app on your desktop, then it might be worth it. If not, and you'll need to cater for three remote guests, well, I have some options for you in the upcoming Big Podcast Equipment Guide. With that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to learn what devices you will need to record a podcast. If you want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or up to 10 participants, including up to 4 remote guests over the phone or Skype, and learn how to set up phone interviews on various devices with Mix Minus. Take care.